Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the JB and Ted Show. Well, good morning. How do you do? Lots of surprises are waiting for you. Are your market ready? Go. It's time to show the JP and Ted Show. Well, how are you today, kids? Great show today. I mean, today is a very special today. Special show today. That's my 29th anniversary show. Quite amazing how we brought these shows to you. For 29 years, we brought these shows to you. It's quite amazing. Quite amazing for kids with high tops, not robes and suits. I want to thank a lot of people who brought these shows to you. My sister Lindsay, my brother Walt Vince, my mom, my dad, and John Paul, Mrs. Gomez, and all some things. We started a show on small budget. Two guys that packed for puppets. One guy who knew how to use them and all that. Had a lot of fun stuff, easy stuff. 29 years, been quite a milestone for me. Why well, I feel old. 29 years doing puppet shows. Why well, I feel old. Quite amazing how I brought these shows to you for 29 years. Anyway, it was the station of Prosser Entertainment, so I thought it was a good show. Show the Muppet movie. So we're get paid. I uh, thought good show. Great Muppet Caper. The Rose Get Paid. I uh, thought that good show. Muppets Take Manhattan. The Rose Get Paid. So we thought we'd do some new heart. We have, we have a lot of stuff. We're going to show you some of the goodies for Harry Potter Just Pass Out. Enjoy. Um, so sorry. There's a cookie right here. Who you? Well, uh. Why is there a cookie there? Well, I, the cookie runs in the circles. So I'm saying to see the cookie runs in a circle. Oh, sure. And the circles remind me of squares. How oh, they do? I have to remember on squares. The squares remind me of my checkerboard. So the checkerboard is square. Also, made a lot of big squares. Oh, I see. This cookie reminds you of circles. Which reminds you of squares. Which reminds you of checkerboard, right? Right. And you all play checkers. Wrong. Ow. There's a square, or what, a chicken where right there games. He gives me money, I'm going to pull my football helmet. I guess I should ask. Um, so sorry, why are you wearing a football helmet? The football helmet runs your music. Why is that? I asked him foolishly. This is always music playing football games, you know, band playing stuff. And music reminds me of dolls. Oh, sure. Bells, baby. I can go turn my alarm clock. Your alarm clock. Whee! I can turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, sure. Okay. This cookie reminds you of circles. Which reminds you of squares. Which reminds you of a checkerboard. Which reminds you of a football helmet. Which reminds you of music. Which reminds you of alarm clock ring, right? Exactly. So, sorry. Why do you want your alarm clock to ring? Because my alarm clock rings. Everybody gets time to eat my cookie. Chomp, 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 Greetings. I didn't count Egon. I like to count things. Hello. I am Boggs. I like to eat cookies. Cookies! The cookies are for counting. The cookies are for eating. The cookies are for eating. Eating, eating, counting, eating, counting, eating, counting. Wait! Why do we cooperate? Cooperate? Yes. I will count the cookies. You will eat them. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cookies! <laughs> oh, cookie. We have a lot of great skits we have to you with, very amazing, and we have one more skit there to you. Is y'all ready yet? Who wants to know? I do! Oh yeah, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, Jabberwocky. Twas brilling, and the slidey toes, the gyre and yibble of the wave, a mimsy where the war grows, and the mum rats out grave. Ew. Beware the jump walk, my son, the claws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jump jump bird, and shun the frumious bender snatch. 
He took his purple sworded hand and long time to make some foe we sought. So rested he with the tub tub tree, as so well as thought, as in office eyes he stood, the Jabberwock eyes of flame, and Vimsy further told you would, a burble as he came, burble, 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 aha, one, two, through and through, the burble blade was sick or sack, he left it dead with his head, and went gloving back. And hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, beamish boy! Oh, frab just stay! Clue, clay! He trolled with his joy. T'was brilliant in the slanty tones, and gyre and gibbled the wave. A mimsy with a board grows, a moment has our grave. I tell you, this is the worst thing to do on the show. It was an out grave. He should have quit one of the head. <laughs> So what'd you think? Did you like it? What do you think? Tell me what you think. When the sun goes out, we hear the tar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I recognize that one. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, when the sun goes down and burns the tar up on the roof. And your shoes get so hot, you wish your tired feet were fireproof. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea, yeah. On a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Under the boardwalk. Out of the sun. Under the boardwalk. We'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk. People walking above. Under the boardwalk. We'll be making love under, under the boardwalk. Boardwalk, from the park you hear the happy sound of a carousel. You can almost taste the hot dogs and french fries they sell. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea, yeah. On a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Under the boardwalk. Out of the sun, under the boardwalk, we'll be having some fun, under the boardwalk, people walking above, under the boardwalk, we'll be making love, under the boardwalk, boardwalk, under the boardwalk, down by the sea. Yeah, on a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Under the boardwalk. Out of the sun. Under the boardwalk. We'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk. People walking above. Under the boardwalk. We'll be falling in love. Under the boardwalk. Boardwalk. Jack and Jill went up to hill, thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana pills got under their heels, chasing them around the hall. Just can't escape, banana Jack and Jill went to the school. Thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana peels got under their heels, chasing them down the hall. Just can't escape. But Jack and Jill went up the hill, thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana peels went under their heels and chased up the hall. Just can't escape. Banana peels. Jack and Jill were right at home. Thank you, they escaped their fall. Those banana peels got under their heels. A jack fell down, broke his crown. Joke a couple of after. Wait, that is a rhyme. Uh, 
Just can't escape banana peels. Ha! Here in Witness Labs, I actually discovered a way to discover cancer cures. And I've discovered a cure, new cure for cancer. It's gonna be easy. Hmm, looks tasty. You're a diet at home, right? Oh yeah, right. Now I've discovered a new way to to, to fix up the, the environment. La la, you to demonstrate. Sit down, but in the chair, right? Well, uh, I know. Um, remember the last time I tried to experiment, me nerd? That used to be. Before, after, before, after. Now just be glad you weren't involved in the experiment will be a turtle. Kalbunga. Now, I want you to ask me with obvious lies. Obvious lies. Now, um, describe something beautiful. Something beautiful. Um, fact woman on a leotard. <coughs> now, describe something that smells delightful. Um, Goat cheese and rotten eggs. <coughs> whoa, whoa. You think my experiment will work? Positively? Absolutely? Orange fur works perfectly? <coughs> well, any luck? Luck? No. Stuck? What do you think? Yeah, what do you think? Hi, Ted Harrison here at Puppets again. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the, the classic comedy play, We Are Our Sweet Roll, and I'm doing it with my puppets. So here we go. Yes, what can I get you, sir? I'll have a cup of coffee and a sweet roll. I'm sorry, we're sweet rolls. Alright, then I'll have a glass of milk and a sweet roll. I'm sorry, I don't think you heard me, we're our sweet rolls. Alright, then I'll have a glass of uh, iced tea and a sweet roll. May I repeat, we are out of sweet rolls. Oh. Alright, can I have a glass of OJ in a sweet roll? Me? You don't get it! We are out of sweet rolls! Okay, well, I'll just have a sweet roll. Ah! Wonder how long is that take for a sweet roll? Alright, this is Ted Harris and Maisie. Thank the puppets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you there. This is Ted Harris over and out. Hi, welcome to the Harris Public Shows. Today we're going to be Akiel's story. We're going to be Akiel, the king's eating habit. So, enjoy. Once upon a time there was a king and he only eat chicken. Hmm, let's see what we have for lunch today. Hmm, chicken, chicken fries, chicken burgers, chicken pudding. Huh, same thing every day. I want to be different. So the king agreed to honor with royalty, along with the trick of Walt Disney World, anyone who give him better stuff to eat. Uh, yeah, this is what he did. Pretty much the next day. You should try this. You should try pork chops, or fish, or steak, or burgers, or hot dogs, or veal, or a type of meat for the meat group. And then, you should try something from, from the bread group, rice, or pasta, Whole wheat or rye bread, bread, or muffins, so for the bread group. You should ask your fruit, group, fruit and vegetable group. Broccoli or peas or beans or lettuce or cabbage, beets, apples, oranges, bananas, grapefruit, something for the fruits and vegetables group. And then, You should have something from the dairy group, like milk or chocolate milk, or ice cream, cheese, butter, or, or yogurt. So what we got? What do we have? A meal. That's what we'll eat. Uh, and 
It says, all of you done a good job. I'll take all of you Walt Disney World. Old. And so from that day on, the king always has uh, something. It's the meat group, the fruits and vegetables group, the bread group, and the dairy group. Oh, and everyone was happy. Everyone lived happily ever after. That's our story. <sighs> Sorry, enjoy the show so far. A lot of great fun stuff, busy stuff, a lot of great pups, all that, a lot of great yours. You know, a lot of great fun stuff, a lot of great fun stuff. How I brought these shows to you. We had a lot of trials and tribulations, how I brought these shows to you. A lot of problems that we see people come and go, go off to make odors and all that, a lot of short occurrences. We see the best and the best and worst, we see a lot of people come and go. Uh, basically. And let's get to part two of our show. Well, this is Ed Hurl Ray. Anyway, I'm doing Poison Poison. Basically, uh, I'm looking forward to it because every time I'm, when we have Meaner on the show, which we usually do, he usually does an expert on me and messes me up. A Maynard! Maynard! Where is he? Hmm, I guess, I guess he's not around. I guess maybe I can do this. Uh, it's even that, that I'll have to, to have the next guest, a la carte. Wait a minute, you're, you were set by me here, I'll lose. What was the one thing to do in this case? Help! Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm about, about our lifestyle here at Harris Puppets Company. Uh, Ted, Come on, yeah. just smile a bit. I do not. Listen, Ted, I, I have no puppets with me today. Right. Well, we're just going to take some human skits. Oh. Okay? You look good in those sunglasses. You look good in those sunglasses. Yes, yes. All right. Um, count to ten in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. There. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay. Um, you do know we're going out for lunch today, do you? Right. Mm -hmm. So I got my wallet with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, anyway, um, are you working any new artwork? Um, sure, Ted. Mm hmm. I'm just looking more clay figures for my next year's art show. Mm hmm. Oh. How do you like working at the Timothy School? It's not too bad, except that uh, young autisticians misbehave too much. All right, yeah, well, that's the way how it is. Hmm. Who got the horns in here? All right. <laughs> not at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, they, uh, yeah, Ed has an EEG, so we're going to go to the and then we'll be in the car, so now I'll just figure wherever I am, we'll be like four hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know that counting skirt reminds me of a good game. Um, what's another game, Ted? Well, you like this game. You say, I'll say, I want the sandbox. You say, I choose the sandbox. I say the odd numbers. You say the even numbers. Here we go. <laughs> I was going down the street the other day. I saw a sandbox. I want the sandbox. I choose the sandbox. 
I three the sandbox. I four the sandbox. I five the sandbox. I six the sandbox. I seven the sandbox. I eight the sandbox. You ate the sandbox. How did it teach, Joe Paul? Terrible. What did you think I ate at a sandbox? I and I, I, I do not eat sandbox. I I I play in sandboxes. I, I do not eat sandboxes. I play in sandbox. I'm going to show you a picture of what I did. I'm going to show you a picture of what I did. Okay, I grew it. Right here. And here it is. What do you think, Joe? Paul, is it neat? Uh, yes, it is, Ted. It is neat. This is a picture of a cow eating grass. Wait a minute. That picture's absolutely blank. I don't see any grass in there. Of course not. The cow ate a... I don't see a cow either. Well, after he ate grass, he went home. Why do you expect her to stay wrong after that? Aha. Uh -huh. Now I get it. You mean, why should she stay around? Why, right. why shouldn't she stay around? Hi. I'm Ted Harris of Harris Puppets, and this is my puppet, Parsley. Hi there, how you doing? It was great to see you, it's amazing. I only thought that there were people. Say, Parsley, how do you call a monster from an elephant? A monster remembers. What's the biggest building in the world? The library, because that's about stories. Now, why I took a little so upset the other day? It's where I fell asleep in a hot tub, it's rather than water. Hard boiled! <laughs> No my students are awfully worried. Why? Because they're afraid to tell for granted. What's the frog's favorite drink? Croak a cola. How you tell them the elephant is done with you? But you can touch the ceiling. Ha 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 ha! What's the monster's eyesight? Twenty, 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 twenty. What one penny see the other penny? Let's get together and make some sense. Ha ha ha! Okay, um, two more friends of mine. Two more friends of mine. Anyway, these are two more friends of mine. This is Word Zero. I don't know. This is Sorty. Lou. Say, um, Brother Call, I want to talk to you about your report card. Uh oh, I'm dead. Uh, dead. Can you believe that? I'm afraid to tell you. Why do you feel like geography? It's easy. What? Let's talk about geography. What's the shape of the world? Sure, it's the most. These jumps are older than white jackets and Noah's Ark. Well, this is embarrassing, but the show is full on. Still with the Titanic? Boy, I can't believe this. If you believe I'm rich, I'll tell you. I can't believe you're yours. I can't believe you either. Okay, I have one more to show you. Anyway, this is my little one of my friends. Her name's Breeze. Hello there! Good to see you! If you believe that, it's an honor to be here at the host of this show. Look, I'm the host of this show. You know, you know you're the puppet. Uh, I can be the host of the show. I can have my own show. We can go on. Bernice has tell it. Uh, look at that side over there. What does it say? Uh, monkey shampoo. Look, I think you're getting disorganized. I think mean, you're the one that's disorganized. These. I should have my own show. We can have one. Breeze has to tell us. We can do it. No, wait, I can do this, Roy! We have to go. No, wait, I can do this, Roy! Say bye, Breeze. Bye, Breeze! And that's our amazing puppet show. We hope you'll benefit from it. And just by the way, there are a whole bunch of local ways to entertain your emergency parties for local events. Or whether you are a qualified company with ways to put your ideas to employees and customers. And I'd love to go to trade shows, conventions. We do too. Look forward to seeing you in many years to come. Don't see you. See you next year. Now, when you talk about Halloween and Claus and all that, no, it's okay. No. That's a great art form and all that, no. Um, no, they're happy, they're sad. It's just sad.
man, she was something. <laughs> anyway, here's a great song you heard. It was actually written by Dickies. This it was for the movie Killer Cost for Our Space. Here we go. P.T. Barnum said it so long ago. There's one board every minute. How to ring. Songs make us laugh. So make us cry. These pals, honey, gonna make it you die. Everybody's running when the circus come to kill their town. You're dead of the other of the lights of the killer clowns from outer space. Killer clowns, clowns from outer space. Oh, don't tell, 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 tell. Ringmaster shouts, let the show begin. Send in the cause they'll do you win. All the tickets to the rares die. All the hood and the rays. Time to take a ride on the nightmare merry-go-round. Do 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 The ghetto's hold of the lights of the killer clowns from outer space. Killer clowns from outer space. They cotton candy in their hills. On the sound of the riding all the rest. And bells of sound and all the little Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Da la 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 all look around, what do you see? All the time you better flee. All the things are right on the hand side. And hey, if you ever wonder where the population's going down. You're dead, oh, the rise of the killer clowns. From outer space, killer clouds. From outer space. There's some songs you like here. It's about there's some songs written about the life of a clown. So here we go. Be a clown, be a clown, all the world loves a clown, on a chill, and the craft, and you'll always have the last laugh, on a thrill, on a hound, all the world loves a clown, if you become a doctor, you'll be facing a big dread, if you become a dentist, they'll be glad you're dead, you can have such a big thrill when you stare at your head, be a clown, be a clown, be a clown. I can't take any more. I can't take any more. All, all the yelling and screaming. Thing. That corny music. The crackle, crackle, the popcorn bags. Eggs. Those lights, the giraffes, those monkeys. I don't let me get started with Elvis. You should quit. What? You give up show business? Be a clown, be a clown. All the world loves a clown on the trail. And the craft, and you'll always have the last laugh. Be a clown, a oh, clown, all the world is a clown. If you become a dentist, you'll be facing bad luck. If you become a gal, you'll be stuck with your luck. You'll get such a big way you crack when you're done. Be a clown, be a clown, be a clown. Now I'm going to sing a song about the life of a clown or a girl. Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? Here on at last on the ground, here in midair. But where are the clowns? Isn't it rich? Don't 
you approve. Here on at last on the ground, one look at you. But where are the clowns? Quick said in the clouds. Just when I stop opening doors, here on the grass to the ground ever wanted was yours. Making my entrance again with unusual flare, knowing at last one look is there. Isn't it rich? Isn't it queer? Losing my timing this late in my career. But where are the clowns? Quick send in the clowns. Well, maybe next. Was that great? Amazing. Anyway, here's another song we've written about life of a clown. It's the much mystery. La fruta amor is already, and when all the fruit on a May. When life is cold, when things are bright, when things are proud, the fruit of Chahe, the fruit of the moth me, the bright, shiny light. Out afraid when things are bright and things are sour. The things are bright, the fruit of Shahe. Now let's conclude the video. Be a clown, be a clown, all the world loves a clown, on the chill and the craft, and you'll always have the last laugh. Be a clown, be a clown, all the world loves a clown, if you become a gambler you'll be faced with bad luck, if you be faced with a gambler you'll be stuck with bad luck, you'll get such a big one you grab it up. Be a clown, be a clown. Be a clown. You know, clown songs you don't hear a lot of nowadays, but you know, some things. Really amazing. A big girl would go out and play the. I'm not now, right now. What's not I'm talking about going out to play? I'm talking about not now. I'm busy reading my book. We're in all night. I said, good luck. I want to finish it. What if you read my book? Let me tell you. There's a tiger in my book. There's a lion in my book. There's a sneaky alligator I can spy on my book. Sometimes all I need is a book to read. There are pirates in my book, and an ocean in my book. There's a star store with a secret magic potions in my book, and to learn where the story will lead. I just read. On a quiet day, I could go outside and play. But there's a venture in my book, so exciting in my book. Read the story, read the pages, read the writing in my book. Sometimes all I need is a book to read. Let's read what read books. What? We want read books? I don't want to read books. No. But girl, it, but girl, it. why is it now? Love afraid. What are you afraid of? Well, uh, monsters, they're screamy. Oh, uh, don't you know, Cookie Monster, Grover, Harry, Rosita, Zoe, Emma, they're monsters, they're friends. That's why I'm talking about monsters. They see what you go, wubba wubba. Wubba wubba?
Don't say that, you're afraid of me. Well, get in the bed, get in the bed. Well, it's just your imagination, or just, uh, we like, like balloons, alright? I like me and those balloons, yes. Lord balloons. Okay, we establish it like balloons. So, magic balloons. Like, yeah, it's hard. Here in the middle of imagination, right in the middle of my head. I close my eyes, and my home is at home. My bed isn't really my bed. I look at and the scoffer face, her thoughts I strange and new. And from a free world, thoughts I think have a way of being true. Here in the middle of imagination, right in the middle of my mind. I close my eyes and the night is a dark, the things I lose I find. Time says so, and the sky is clear, and the wind is warm and fair. And the nicest place is the middle of imagination, when I'm there. Now we're going to begin our next skit, it's called Blutter Baker of the Elves. Once upon a time, there was one wonderful letter maker who made all kinds of letters. It's great and amazing. His letters are great and amazing. Wow, it's great. I love being the letter maker of the king. That was great and amazing. Then who should show up at the king? Oh, your majesty, you afraid of me. Yeah, I frighten a lot of people. See these letters? Uh-huh. They're C, P, and W. Those are my favorite letters. I want you to make some letters like them. Think you can do it? I think maybe I can. And so the letter maker worked all night. Won't you make my letters? We'll see. Let's see. O, P, and N. And are they same or different? Different. What am I gonna do? I want you to make a set of letters like that. It'd be worth it. So the letter maker worked all night. Next morning. How's it? L, U, and N. My letters are C, P, and W. I have C first, P in middle, and W last. You want to do a letters that don't, but people don't follow his A? No. I said, am I gag? Am I gag? Tell them! Dun dun dun! Oh no! You want to do it? Yeah! Then do it. Oh god, I hate being tickled. God, I've been working for three whole nights. Well, maybe the king will show up today. Here I am. Oh, we can't have anything. Did you make the letters? Let's see, G, R, W, I see the G and the C also look the same, the R and P look the same, we both have a W. Ew. I better call my gang. Wait, I'm going to P, C, W, a C, W, P. I can see for a P, W, a W, a W, lot. I better call my gang. Wait, I can do it, play. I don't believe it. I want those letters to start writing me when you can't call, tickle, tickle, I know, I know, I know, I know. Boy, I don't really have to deal with this. If we were, I really will be tickled. Hey, this flyer, what does it say? We can do anything. Contact all night elves. I'll call them. Hello? Are you all night elves? You gold? Wow, you got here fast. I want to learn CGW. Oh, sure, no problem. I can do it. So the elves worked all night, leaving the, the lore maker a chance for us. Oh, it's warning. You won't believe it. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, what's going on here? I've been learned. There's CP and W. I've been learned. Now you don't have to tell me. I don't? Hey, gang, go ahead and tell this guy. Wait a minute. I said you're going to tickle me. Well, one or two sure about a whole show full. Take care of them, gang. And so the would Lermaid was tickled with heart's content. It was quite amazing. Rachel, are you okay? Yeah, I am. <laughs> That's our skit, Lermakers of the Elves. Good night, everybody.
Jack and Jill went up to hill, thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana peels got under their heels, chasing them around the hall. Just can't escape, banana Jack and Jill went to the school. Thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana peels caught under their heels, chasing them down the hall. Just can't escape, but uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill, thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana peels went up under their heels and chased up the hall. Just can't escape, banana peels. Jack and Jill were right at home. Thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana peels got under their heels. And Jack fell down, broke his crown. Joke a couple of after. Wait, that is a rhyme. Uh, Just can't escape banana peels. <laughs> Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Rainbows are vicious and only illusions. <laughs> rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told and so choose to believe it. I know the wrong way to see. <coughs> Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Who said that every wish would be heard and answered, the wish of the morning star? Somebody thought of that. Someone believed it, look what it does so far. What's so amazing that keeps us start gazing, and what do we think we might see? <laughs> Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under its spell, we know that it's probably magic. Everyone sing! Have you been half asleep? Have you heard voices? I heard them calling my name. Is this a sweet song that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. It's something I'm supposed to be. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. After all that, I was pretty tired, huh? Pretty tired, huh? A lot of things. Basically, I brought the show to you. Amazing. I can't wait to see what happens next year and all that. Quite amazing how I brought the show to you. From our days when we started a studio at Barn and all that, was basically how I brought the show to you. Since it was done today, it was, it was cable and internet, so what puppet show and all that. How I brought the show to you. Quite amazing how we brought these shows to you. 
So come on down to the carnival, the circus, those, the old abandoned amusement park. We'll see a lot of amazing fun stuff. A lot of amazing stuff. Who knows? People will see my hair puppets 30. God bless.